Well, hi everybody, and good morning. It is a beautiful day. I am Trevor, and this is my channel, Trevor Draws, and thanks for being here. And I want to give a shout out to Jose and Amber. Hi, I know you're watching, and thanks for subscribing. And I'm so stoked that I'm finding an audience that is enjoying this. So enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, so I know I said I wanted to come back to this drawing and try to fix it, but honestly, I, I'm not into it. I'm not feeling it. I really want to start something else. So uh, let's flip the paper. Let's do something else. What to do, what to do. I've been looking a lot at, or I'm using my fancy pen. Let me focus. And I've been looking a lot at bamboo. It's been springing up all over the place lately. And I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to draw some bamboo. Nice and slowly. That's supposed to be a leaf. It's nice. I'll do another. There are different kinds of bamboo. I don't know what this one's called, but I'm noticing just in my neighborhood, there's some bamboo that has really long tubular leaves and some that have like leaves like a almost like an oak tree and the one in my neighborhood has these kind of oak tree looking leaves so that's the one I'm drawing might do something really interesting with this, but I don't know. I don't know where this is going to go. But now I'm just drawing. You know, it's a lot easier to <laughs> draw and not talk but that is a skill that I am currently trying to develop so this is my second drawing that I'm doing in real time while trying to think about things to talk about so doing two things at once I mean, eventually I'll get good at it. Right now, I'm, I notice I get real quiet all of a sudden because I'm concentrating on what I'm drawing. With this, I don't have to really concentrate that much. I'm just outlining. So, uh, what is happening right now in the world of trending videos? One of the suggestions on YouTube is to look up trending videos, and if you have a video blog, just kind of mention what's trending. And that's something to talk about. So what's trending right now is a video about a husband and wife. I don't remember their names. They're young, 20-something. She was really pretty, and I really loved the sound of her voice. And all they were doing was talking about their dogs and what they're going to do when they get married, because they're not married yet. They're still figuring it out. 
but they're super cute and they live in Japan and they just are in their early 20s and are enjoying their lives and I'm happy for them and it was an enjoyable video it was a short video but I enjoyed it I watched it all the way through just to see you know what it was all about Yeah, it was another one. Oh yeah, the trailer for Shazam was number one in trending. And man, if you have not seen that trailer, holy Jesus, that is going to be a really funny movie. I like the way it looked so far. I mean, it's not Shazam with Shaq, because that was an old movie, but it's still Shazam, and it's basically. This kid, he's 14, and he gets the power of Shazam. And basically, all he has to do is say the word, Shazam! And he's instantly a 28-year-old muscular fella. And so he's still got the brain of a 14-year-old. So I'm assuming the rest of the movie is all about him with superpowers as a grown man with a 15 year old brain which honestly it sounds like it would be kind of funny but I mean I'm sorry if I was 14 years old and was suddenly had a body of a 28 year old muscular fella the first thing I would be doing is running to my room with some lube and having a good game of whack-a-mole they're not going to put that in the movie because you're not supposed to talk about that kind of stuff. Well, what else is going on? Work's going good. We got a new general manager, and he's pretty nice. I like him. But he always is constantly wanting us to do really strange things. That later he tells us, nope, don't do that. He got in trouble at work for asking us all to do something that we're not supposed to be doing. I think he's new at being a GM. Bamboo. What to do with the bamboo? Hmm. I think I need a line there. Something. Finish this. Where'd you go? There you are. Well, it got pretty cold out here. I think it was 32 degrees last night. That was terrible. Here in Florida, we are not used to that. Oh yeah, I got a new camera, finally. I've been doing my YouTube videos with my cell phone camera, which was mostly just an experiment to see if I was really gonna do it. Because as an artist, I had so many unfinished things. I start a project, get a little bored with it, and move on to something else. And so I just used my phone. I didn't spend any money because I wanted to see Am I going to really do this, or am I just going to do it for like a few weeks and get bored and move on? But so far it's been two months, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's really fun. And doodling is not hard at all. But I will say, sometimes I get a little camera shy. Like it'll happen all of a sudden. Like while I'm drawing like this and I'm feeling kind of comfortable, all of a sudden I'll feel really, really self-conscious because everybody's watching me. And I have to tell myself, hey, nobody's watching. You you might not even ever post this video, so just calm down. Which is a little trick I learned from a friend who went to, what are those classes? Speech classes where you learn to talk in front of people. All these little nifty tricks you can do to 
calm yourself down from getting stage fright. I guess camera shy is the wrong word. I'm, I have stage fright sometimes. But it's easy enough to deal with. Mm -hmm. Let me outline that. And finally got the pool pump taken care of and the little pool shark thing that cleans the bottom of the pool that seems to be working alright again because for a while it just was avoiding certain areas <laughs> she was being real mean or something or just like I'm not going by those stairs I don't care what you do those stairs are ugly but we finally got her to go over to the stairs and clean I mean for 500 bucks you better clean the entire pool or you ain't getting paid girl Drawing with a fountain pen is very different than drawing with a felt tip pen like I usually do. Because this one, I can hear it scratching the paper and pulling on the paper, whereas a felt tip pen just, just kind of flows. But I also might not be holding this pen correctly. I've never really used a, a fountain pen before. I'm sure there's rules and stuff that I don't know about. Like, what's the correct angle? I don't know. <coughs> and I've also done a little bit more research on being a YouTube creator creating content for YouTube and there's a settings button on your YouTube page I didn't know it was there and there's all these different settings that you're supposed to have checked off and boxed and questionnaires you're supposed to fill out and stuff about yourself and I mean I didn't even have a thing checked off to where it was okay for YouTube to even share the video I was like oh well, that's probably something I should do and I had to check off the box that it's okay for other creators to use my video in their videos, which is something I never thought about. But they want to use this in their video. I don't mind. Art is art, and I would like more and more people to be exposed to art. Because a picture says a thousand words and you can look at an image and it can change your whole perspective on the day. I mean the Japanese used to do it all the time. They loved it. They still love it. Like just being quiet and looking at pictures and drawings and, and back in like the olden days and I'm thinking like 14th century the Japanese so we used to draw on a scroll and unroll it a little bit and it was just a little garden path with some mountains and a little gazebo and there were little animals in the bushes and in the trees and you would just quietly sit there and imagine yourself on the path just walking along the path looking at bushes and kind of put yourself in the painting and then you would unroll it a little bit and just slowly keep walking through this garden path and imagining yourself in this place in the drawing. And that's a particular word for it, but I don't remember what it is. I learned about that in art school. And I always thought that was pretty fascinating. Yeah, but the things you had to do before you had TV. Another... I think I'm going to do this. This little squiggly. Boop. Boop. I don't know why that's there. I just wanted to do it. Because why not? There I go, getting quiet again. It's because I'm trying to think about what to draw next. 
I'm just outlining and coloring. It's like, I don't really have to think. And just color, 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 scribble, scribble, scribble. Dot, 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 dot. You can allow the dots because it makes it look like awesome detail. Especially from a distance. Needs this. Mm, that looks neat. Squiggly doodle. Love my squiggly doodles. You know, I just love them. I just do them all the time. Nobody tells me no because I'm the president. Mr. President, you're supposed to be working. Yes, but I'm doodling right now. Thank you very much. Leave me alone. Top, top, top. By the way, that's my Donald Trump impersonation. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very special for me, too. He is just. Uh, he is just the weirdest man. Coloring in, coloring in. Um, you know what? I've been doing this for a while, I think. And this is supposed to be a series. So I think I'm going to stop here in a little bit. And go and make myself a sandwich. But, to be honest, I don't really want to stop yet. Dot dot dot. I, yeah, I'm, I'm getting hungry. And I'm curious to see how I sound on this new camera because I looked it up on YouTube. I've been looking it up and looking at it. And all the vloggers are using this camera or they're saving to buy this camera. And it sounds like it has a really good microphone, but they're all also facing the camera and I am looking down. And so I'm hoping the, the little microphone on it is picking me up quite loud and clear. But I don't really know. This will be my first experiment with the camera. But I'm so glad I got it. Now my content can look a lot more professional. Because when I look at other people's content on YouTube, mine looks pretty crappy by comparison, just because they have a really nice camera. So now I also have a really nice camera. I have bumped my game up. Yeah, this camera wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap at all. It's about... 650 bucks so yeah quite a bit of savings but I got a bonus check at work today or yesterday and I just went up to where did I get it Best Buy hey, hello Best Buy thanks for carrying the camera because nobody else did and yes as soon as I walked in the door there were two people asking me if I needed help well, can I help you with something are you looking for something like, well, no, not yet, but I'm going to need help in a minute. Could you just let me, you know, come in and breathe in this nice air from the air conditioning you have here? That would be nice. Okay, so now I am going off in thought. I don't know how this is going to mix together with bamboo, but I want to do more bamboo. Boom, 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 more bamboo. All of bamboo. Yeah, so this drawing is going to take 
Well, sorry about that, guys. Um, my battery died, so I guess it's a good place to end this video. Uh, I had to charge it up just a little bit, just so I could make this. And then one of the cool things about this camera is it will wirelessly, wirelessly, send all this video to my phone so I don't have to use my computer. And I can edit it and crop it on my phone and then just send it off into the universe. So thanks for watching. I will pick this back up after my battery charges. Love y'all. Have a good day.